Hey everybody, in today's tutorial, I am going to share with you a very precious resource. It's my track preparation mapping for the keyboard. So this is gonna allow you to prepare tracks for Traktor in a really detailed way, but in very little time. A lot of time and energy has gone into this. I've been refining it over the past six or seven years, and today you get to download it for free. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it, how to use it, and what it's good for. So let's dive right in. The first thing you wanna do is follow the link underneath this video to get the mapping. Once you have it, and once you've downloaded it, you're gonna look for the TSI file. And you're gonna load that in Traktor by clicking on the Preferences window, then Controller Manager, and adding import the file. So it's gonna be .tsi, and you go ahead and select that. I'm not gonna do it because I've already got it in there. You're gonna see Ian's prep keys. Make sure it's routed to the keyboard. If for whatever reason you have another keyboard mapping, you probably do, there's a default one in Traktor, you'll wanna select that and set it to none. So Ian's prep key should be enabled, everything else should be disabled, and then you've got the magic happening. One single important setting that I'll wanna make sure you have is that you'll go into transport and set sync mode to beat sync. Sometimes it's set to tempo sync. For the purpose of preparing these tracks, we want it to be set to beat sync. Cool. With those in place, we are ready to rock and roll. Now, in the larger tutorial, I've covered how to manage your music. That is, bringing it in, making sure it all stays in one place, tagging it, preparing it, and the whole process of uh, managing your music collection. In this particular video that you're seeing now, we're just gonna go over using the track prep tool. So I'm gonna assume that everything else is taken care of. So let's go ahead and load another song and imagine that this is our very first song. It's gonna go left to right. The first thing you wanna do is press the squiggly line, which is gonna jump to the first beat of the song. Then you're gonna press the number one, which is gonna set a load marker and also uh, a cue point, a number one cue point. So you're sort of saying, this is the beginning of the song. And then if we hit play, we can tap through the track, check, check that beat grid. Maybe tune it just a little bit. This guy's very close. And once you're happy with it, press two. That's gonna lock the track. You see here on the grid, we can either lock or unlock using the two button. And then the number three button is gonna load the next song. And so that's the cycle. Squiggly, one, two, three. Squiggly, one, two, three. Pause, play, tab. Pause, play, tab. It almost gets kind of musical. So I'll squiggly. I'm gonna hit the one button. That's gonna set up my track. It dropped the load marker and the cue point. I'm gonna go ahead and play it. Tab through. If I need to, I'm gonna adjust my beat grid a little bit. If I need to, I can also adjust the BPM. I think that sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna lock it and load the next track. Squiggly, play. Now this is a track of a new BPM. So again, I've got you taken care of. You'll notice that it's synced up to 128. All you have to do is press pause a couple times and that's gonna reset the master clock to whatever BPM this track is. I'm gonna lock it and load the next track and keep going. So that's how you use my track prep tool. I hope you find it really handy. And if you found this tutorial to be really handy, I encourage you to download the full version, which is available on DJ Tech Tools or by following the link underneath.